I am Brandon Benwell. And I'm Hunter Dupont. And this is The View from the Falcon's Nest. Good morning, Falcons. Today is Monday, November 6, 2023. John Glenn Jr. Matt Daly had the best day of his high school speech career Saturday, competing against Columbia City and every Fort Wayne high school except one in the Bishop Dwanger tournament. He placed six overall in broadcasting and tied seventh in his first attempt at Improv 2. He captured third places in three preliminary rounds in broadcasting. It was the first meet of the season for Glenn, and they will be in action again later this month. A new statewide educational report finds that inner city schools are losing students because of Indiana state law that allows parents to enroll their sons and daughters at other schools. The Indianapolis Star is reporting that Indianapolis public schools have lost nearly 16,000 students in the past 16 years, a 41% drop in, the, in their enrollment. The only Indianapolis schools to show a net gain were in Lawrence Township. Other major urban areas like Gary Community Schools and South Bend Community Schools have also seen significant drops in enrollment. Enrollment in Gary Community Schools dropped by 73% in the past 16 years, more than any other district. John Glenn's Spell Bowl team will compete in the state championship this weekend at Purdue. The Falcon Spellers head into the championship again after tying Carmel for the seventh highest regional score. They are the highest scoring team in Class 2 and will be competing against Western Hanover Central and Heritage Hill. Good luck to Mrs. Forsman and team members. Spelled Saturday, V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. Now to weather with Michael. Good morning, everybody. For your Glen forecast today, we have a current temperature of 49 with some clouds and, as always, that good air quality. Now, moving on to our three-day forecast, for today, we have a high of 64 degrees, a low of 46 degrees, with a small chance of showers. Tuesday, we have a high of 56 degrees, with a low of 43 degrees, with some clouds partly sunny. And Wednesday, we have a high of 51 degrees, a low of 47 degrees, with some more chance of showers. That's all for weather. Now to main desk with sports. The Lady Falcons basketball team moved to a 2-0 start on the season Saturday night. They won a thrilling 37-35 game over Knox at the Buzzard. They'll be on the road Friday night for their first road game at South Bend Adams. John Glenn's football season come to a stem winding conclusion Friday night in what will go down as one of the most epic high school sectional final games ever played. Knox emerged from night as one of the only two remaining unbeaten teams in Class 3A. The Falcons emerged with their heads held high after hanging 37 points on the state's number four team in their stadium. Knox advances to take on West Lafayette in the regional Friday night in Tippecanoe County. West Lafayette came from 21 points down in the fourth quarter to defeat previous undefeated team, Hanover Central. The Falcons are 25th in Class 3A in this week's power rankings. Meanwhile, other tournament games this weekend involving area teams include Penn hosting Crown Point in 6A and Valpo versus Maryville in 5A along with Fort Wayne Snyder at Mishawaka. In 4A, New Prairie will take on Northwood. The other undefeated team in Class 3A, number one Chittard, will travel to Delta. LaVille will travel to Central Catholic in 2A, and Park Tudor will travel to North Judson in Class A. Now back to lunch with Michael. For lunch today, we will be having boneless chicken wings, a flame-grilled steak burger, baby carrots or celery sticks, mandarin oranges, onion rings, a gelatin cup, and a variety of fresh fruit. That's all we have time for today, Falcons. Have an amazing week.